What's going on, guys? Downrange Cowboy. Bible verse of the day is Psalms 107, verse 1. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Uh, that's out of just the, just the chapter that I'm on um, in Psalms. Today I'm just doing a little video, um, kind of an overview of the pack I just got. It's the GWA Micro Crew and uh, Wolf Gray, I believe is the what they call it. Um, let's see how this is lined up right about there. As you can see, I got my fancy new camera set up. So, uh, but yeah, without further ado, they have, uh, it comes with, I'm not sure if it comes with it because I bought it. I didn't buy it from GWA. Um, but I think it'll come with this silencer is what they call it for the, the Velcro up front. Just um, kind of blend in a little bit more. Um, it's a very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, it's a very subtle backpack. It's very subtle, like not a, not an eye catcher, which is perfect. Um, so there's a front pocket right here. It'll all be lined with this blue. Um, they kind of do that with all their packs. It'll be like neon blue or yellow or green or whatnot. Um, but I just have a my bandana or just towel, whatever you want to call it. Um, a thousand different use cases for this. Trying to find the brand. Nomadics is the brand for that. Um, and I just have some Sea to Summit wipes in there. Um, and then everything else is pretty much barren. I keep all my other EDC stuff, wallet, um, keys, and uh, all that stuff on my desk. Um, on this pocket down here, some of them, some of the packs come with a, um, a stretch material. This one doesn't on this pocket um, and this pocket as well, I believe. But the micro does not uh, come with that. Um, in here, I just have my med kit and a tourniquet. Um, that just kind of lives in there. Um, there's three pockets, same size on the interior of this. So one, two, three. Um, and then in this one, there's two little ones flashlight, pens, things like that, wallet, and wallet sized, or uh, in that case, some wipes. On the side, side buckles, clamshell opening, um, so it kind of stops it halfway, or if you unbuckle it, it will go all the way down, and I'll open that up in a bit. I guess I'll just finish out the rest of the outside of the pack. Uh, the right side, um, it'll be on the left side of your body will be a water bottle pocket this is the stretch material and then on this side they have some two by three uh molly webbing straps very comfortable um they have the stretch fabric on the inside and then some nice padding i think they widened the straps a little bit um for the shoulders just to give uh, more availability to a wider group of people um and then they have the carry handles on the side which is a pretty uh, functional um, little addition. Um, I think the regular one has a pass-through, so you can put a belt. That one does not, and they're smaller as well because this is a little bit smaller of a pack. Um, chest buckle, normal adjustability, a little retentioner um, at the end to kind of um, bring in the, the sides. So, going into the pack, pocket right here. Um, I don't know, what is that, like four by eight, something like that. But um, both of those are sized the same. So there's two of those, one and then two. Um, I have the, I have a U-arm in here right now. This is a level three plus. So it'll go up to 762, I believe. Um, I just have my concealed carry, uh, just chilling in there for now. Um, I have a little GWA tearaway sandwich that just has a band and a rolling ball. Um, 
I play football and that's just kind of some things that I use um, if I'm traveling or whatnot to for mobility, stretching, um, rolling out my feet and any other part that I need to roll out. Uh, that's what I use that for. Um, down here is the Prometheus Design Works and Carryology. This is their little, I don't even know what they call it. Um, it's pretty sweet though. I just have a few patches on the front. Um, inside the front pocket is a uh, portable charger and then a charger for my iPhone or a cable for it. On the inside, I just have some earbuds, um, my right in the rain and a pen, and then my flashlight and my multi-tool. Um, and that's pretty much it in there. That's what I find that I need on a daily use case. Um, and sometimes I'll just put my light up here just for a little quicker access or hell even in my pocket, depending on the time of day. Um, if it's daytime, it stays in here. And if it's night, sometimes I'll just put it in my pocket because um, I don't have a light on my pistol, which I'm kind of conflicted about. We'll see um, if I decide to go that route. But in the meantime, that's how I run it. Um, I'll just open it up for you guys. And if I need to bring my laptop, my laptop will just fit right here. Um, this is a nine by 17, this uh, panel for the, the armor panel, I believe. Nine by 16, nine by 17. Um, it's just, you know, if it was nine by 16, it'd be a little bit better. It just rides on the top, just a, just a hair too long. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, blue, padded on the bottom, padded on the um, backside, um, but the armor panel gives it a little bit more padding as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So it just kind of goes right there. And then if I need to bring my laptop anywhere, um, that'll go in the laptop sleeve. Um, if you guys have seen my video on the other GWA pack that I had, you'll notice that the micro doesn't have the back sleeve, so they slimmed it down a little bit. Um, made a little bit more streamlined, which I like. Um, I, I'm more of a fan of. I don't. I don't want a backpack that has more space than I need. I'd rather have a backpack that I can, that I have to fit my stuff into. Um, you know, figuring out how it all works and and making it sit all nicely versus having extra space. Um, and you know, I, realistically, I could. I could go maybe up to a week and something like this, depending on what I'm doing. Um, but you know, that's a whole different topic of, of, uh, you know, traveling and what you bring, um, deciding all of those factors. Uh, but anyways, that was just a quick little kind of overview of the GWA pack. Um, these things are awesome. I would say they're I haven't found a backpack that's better at uh, EDCing or traveling uh, than this one. Um, I got the gray, changed out the multicam for the gray just because I liked the just the sleekness of it. Um, it just doesn't stand out at all. It's very um, gray man, but uh, yeah, I mean, there's not enough that can be said about these packs. They're they're designed really well. Um, I don't know if they're made in America. I sure hope they are. Um, but yeah, even down like to the zipper pulls, I mean, everything's to a T. The grab handle, sides. I don't really know what else you could want from a backpack. Um, if you have any ideas, I would hit them up. But um, yeah, guys, that's the backpack. I'll probably do like, if I go on a trip somewhere, you know, I'll update you on what how I pack it out, um, give you some ideas. Maybe you can give me feedback. Um, but yeah. That being said, that is the GWA Micro crew in Wolf Gray. Um, stand by for the next video and take it easy.